values of every variable to help the optimization engine figure out the numbers uh, faster. Of course, I could, you know, draw a much larger number here to make sure that, you know, all possibilities are in. But I know, looking at the data, I know the production is not as high as one gazillion barrels. I know that 150 is way more than what I have there, so that's fine. 150,000 will be my maximum value for the algorithm to test. This way we're kind of limiting what the algorithm will test and we are helping achieve the solution faster, okay? There's also a constraint here that I need. Uh, the decline rate of phase one needs to be higher or equal than the decline rate of phase two. Phase two is when the decline is smoother, it's smaller, it's not as steep. Therefore, I need to make sure that my optimization model is taking it, this into account. Okay, this is, a, this is a business constraint. This is a physical constraint of the model. Okay, so I won't get absurd results. Even though maybe there's one curve that's really weird here because of whatever technical reasons, and maybe the declines would be violate this rule, I don't want this answer. This answer doesn't make economic or physical sense. Therefore, I'm excluding it from possible answers, okay? So by setting up the model like this, by setting up the optimization model like this, I'll be able now to figure out what are the best set of parameters that make this red curve match the historical blue curve, okay? And I'll do that simultaneously for all the wells. As I said, I could do that for each single well individually and run 50 optimizations in a row. Uh, maybe that's even more uh, uh, time efficient, okay? But just for the sake of the webinar, to make everything faster in one single place, I'll do it for the whole uh, uh, crowd together, okay? <clears throat> By the way, there's a, I'm using a simple Excel random number function here. So every time I calculate something, we see a different curve, one of the possible production curves we have, just for the for showing purposes here, okay? So we will see this curve changing also when we are you know, building the model, we, you eventually will see this curve change. <clears throat> I'll start the optimization now, okay? This might take actually a few minutes or even hours, okay? So we're not gonna run the optimization until the end. I'll just start it here to showcase the idea, the concept of how this error, 6.2 thousand in average, how it will uh, uh, shrink down to maybe one, two thousand or, or even less, okay? And you'll see that the parameters we have here in yellow, they will start to change once the optimization starts. They will start to... Uh, uh, the software will test different ideas, different strategies, different possibilities here to see if it can minimize this error. And the trials or the tests that work best will be kept. The ones that don't don't work well, so throw it away and keep searching, okay? By the way, this search of the op of the optimization engine is very smart. It's not just a simple uh, uh, random search like what I was doing manually, okay? Something a lot smarter. There's a number of different algorithms inside. There's a lot of hours of work in an optimization engine, by the way. So now we're seeing this i will actually look at the graph of how this is evolving so we started with an error level of 6200 something it already dropped a little bit as you can see in the graph it tested slightly different strategies and as time goes by this curve here this error curve should be minimized it should drop and then suddenly have a sharp drop usually at the beginning the, the drops are really sharp there, there's a lot of stuff we can do here to have better results but as time passes by, this eventually converges to the final solution. Eventually, most of the things that could be tested that seem smart have already been tested, and there's not much room for improvement. We are far away from that point, okay? I'll actually just let this run for a moment here for us to see, but I'll get the, 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 the optimized results from another file, so we don't waste time here. So as you can see, the optimization is, has already dropped the error level by about 10% or so, and it will actually end up at about two or 3,000, this error level. At some point, there's a, an irreductible level of error that you know my model is not smart enough to reduce. Maybe I'll need a more advanced, complicated model to, or external information to reduce that level of error. Okay, eventually, I'll get to the final best model. <clears throat> 
if this was a regression, a simple regression model, we would we would arrive at the regression uh, at the solution of the classical regression equation.